Now, when you're not checking your emails on your phone, I recommend that you get an extension for your inbox that's going to help you manage all of your emails. So as a VA, and especially if you're assisting multiple different clients, you're going to get bogged down with a ton of different emails. So for that reason, I recommend that you download an extension called the Top Inbox. Now, this extension is not free. It will cost you 50 US dollars per year. But the good news is you can use it across as many inboxes as you want to. So for example, I use the top inbox that I paid for once across seven different email addresses. And that really helps drive the cost down. But the best thing about the top inbox is that it helps me manage my inbox without going crazy. So I'm gonna hop into my inbox right now and show you my favorite features. The first thing that I find so helpful about the top inbox is that it lets me snooze emails that I am maybe either not ready to address yet or I know I'm going to need to answer at a later time. So let's pretend like this person, a client of mine, has emailed me and she sent me an actionable that I'm just not ready to do yet. Once you have the top inbox installed, you'll see this little clock sign up there. That's a reminder. So if you click on that, I can snooze, AKA archive this message so I don't see it in my inbox anymore until I set a date, at which time the top inbox will pop this email back up to the very top of my inbox. So I can either note that I wanna see this in one week from now, I can pick a specific date, or I can simply type it in myself. So I could even say tomorrow at noon. You hit approve and that's it. But my favorite thing about this app is something that I think every VA needs to have in their toolbox, and that is setting up automated follow-up emails. So hear me out. When you're emailing somebody on behalf of your client, or maybe even you're emailing your client and they don't respond to you, it's really easy to forget about who's responded and who hasn't. For me, when I'm managing six different inboxes, I have too many emails for me to remember which ones I need to follow up with. That's where the top inbox comes in handy. As you can see here, an email from my client says quite clearly, I'm going to ignore you. So here's how this works. So I'm writing my initial email to a client and before initial email to client requesting info. Okay, so if you've written your email, there's something that you need from somebody. Before you go ahead and click send, I want you to come to the bottom of the email. There are a few things that the top inbox does for us. Number one, we have this little arrow icon. That's an automated follow-up. So when you click on an auto follow-up, what this means is that if this message that you're writing is not replied to within three days, and you can change that, it can be by one day, two days, it could even be a week, whatever the case, if uh, somebody doesn't respond to your email within two days, this automated message that you see below will be sent. You don't have to do anything. The top inbox sends it for you, which usually at that point prompts somebody to respond to your email, which will say, oh, I'm so sorry for the delay. Thanks for following up. And you didn't have to do anything. This is a huge time saver. And trust me, you are going to want to use this tool when you are emailing a million different people. And of course, you can tailor this note as needed. Um, I like to use something generic because since you don't exactly know what you're following up on, it's better to have just a general note. So I usually like to say, um, hi there, just following up on my last email. It could be as simple as that. Thanks so much. And sign it, Aaron. And then you click approve and that's it. So once you've got that little arrow highlighted, that means your automatic follow-up is ready to roll. Now, the nice thing is if somebody does respond to you right away, let's say you sent this message, you didn't expect them to respond, but surprise, they emailed you immediately. Well, don't worry, the automated follow-up won't send. As long as you get a response, you're good. But if nobody responds to you within that period that you've selected, in our case, two days, then the top inbox is going to send them an automated reminder. The other thing you can do is tr uh, track who opens your email. I like to keep this feature on because when I send emails to clients or to people on behalf of my clients, when that person has opened my email, I see a little green checkbox. That means I know somebody has received and read my email. That's also handy because if I can see that they've read the email and they haven't responded, then I know I need to do a little extra follow-up or I can thank myself for turning the follow-up feature on. 
And the last feature, of course, that I really, really like is this send later feature. This is something I like to do for my clients as well. So I don't know about your needs, but for my clients, at the end of every business day on Friday, I like to send them emails with a recap of everything we've worked on for the week and things that are pending that I still need to work on for next week. Now, what's so handy about this send later option is that I don't have to wait to write those emails on Friday night. If I wanted to, I could write them Thursday evening, Friday morning, at whatever point I have a minute in my day to get those down on email, and then I can set those to go out at a specific time. So once I've written my end of week recap emails, I can set it to go out, um, let's see, let's say the 7th, which is I think really Friday, and, uh, and I can set a time. So I can set this to go out with my local time zone on a Friday at 4.30, and you hit schedule to send, and that's it. You don't need to think about it again. Your emails will be sitting in a special folder ready to go out for the time that you've set. Now, quick note for you. If you have set up the top inbox and for whatever reason you're not happy with the service and you want to get rid of it, there's a trick to getting rid of this tool. The other tools are pretty self self-explanatory. You can go up to your profile, manage your account, but the top inbox isn't a separate app or a separate website. It's an extension. So how do you get rid of it? Well, on the very bottom of your email, when you open up a brand new message, you'll see this gear on the lower right hand corner. Click that gear and the top inbox will open a brand new window. You can see right now a bunch of different emails that I'm using with the top inbox. And if you wanted to remove yourself, so if you're no longer using an email address, uh, you'd highlight that corresponding email and then click remove. And that's it. It's gone. So next time you log into that email address, you won't be able to use the top inbox features. And uh, for subscription, if you want to get rid of that, toggle down to the subscription option and hit cancel. Um, and lastly, you will see that they have automated payments. And if your credit card has since expired since you signed up for the service, this is where you would add a new card or update your existing one. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial check out our full course on udemy the must-have tools for virtual assistants the full course comes with over two and a half hours full of tutorials that are on demand be sure to check it out up on udemy search for must-have tools for virtual assistants or go ahead and look up our account under f the office